My name is Steven Annie, and in this video, we'll be learning something new in Blender. In this video, we'll be creating a table and a chair in object mode. Now, in this video, we'll be using the basic things that we have used before in the previous video. So the first thing we're going to do is to scale this using the scale tool. So you can simply scale this down. Remember, if you don't have a mouse, you can use it to navigate around. So I would like to make this a long table and scale it on the Y axis and scale it down more on the X axis. I'll scale it up a bit more. Now to make my work very simple, I would like to put the modifiers right now. So I'll click here and click on the modifier and click on middle. But before you do that, let me come close so you understand what is actually happening. If I click here and click on middle, you can see the edges becoming smoother so I'll go back to zero I'll just click increase it to four and increase this to four so you have a very smooth edge and then we will press ctrl a and apply scale and right click and smoothen it and this is how we can be able to create a very smooth edge like this if it is too smooth you can reduce distance will reduce this one I think this is better so now I can just do my shindy and click to accept it now there are actually two here so what I'll do right now is to press R now I want to rotate on the X axis because I want it to stand this way so R X 90 so it's gonna stand on this axis on the x-axis so I'll use a move tool to drag it back to this place so I'll make sure that it's actually not coming out from here and then I'll drag it down to this place now the next thing I want to do is to press shift D again click to accept either you press shift D and, or ent and enter or you press shift D and click your left click button <coughs> Now press R and Z 90 to rotate this on the X on the Z axis. R Z 90. So it will be this way now. So I will go to my scale and scale it down this way. Now I'm trying to actually get the, the different parts of the for the legs of the of the table. So I'll go down here. And I'll press Ctrl A again and apply scale so that that shadow thing will actually go out. So I'll use the scale again and scale down here and bring this one down a bit to this point. I would like this to have uh, be on the same line with this one as much as possible. Now in case you are wondering whenever you are moving this uh, let's say you move this uh, object and you're not actually you don't know where it is because sometimes it could be here and you think it's actually under it so but when you move around when you hold the middle mouse button and, and navigate around you see you actually see where it is in 3d so i would like to push this in a bit so i don't want it to come out on this side neither on that side so I'll press Shift D and I'll drag this one to the edge here. Now remember we're not doing any precision thing, so we're just doing approximate modeling here. So I'm just going to drag this in and just look at what it looks like. You can press 7 on the numbers keypad and you can be able to actually see what it looks like. 7 on the numbers keypad. Or if you have turned on your emulate number skip from your preference. If you don't know how to do that, you can check the last video <coughs> to actually see the first video to actually see how you can be able to turn on those things in the preference. That's the preference is over here. So I'll click here and shift D again and drag this to the center here, shift D and drag this somewhere here and shift D and drag this to here. Now I want to use this also to build my chair very fast. So I'll press Shift D on this one, drag it out, 
and rotate on the y axis. This is y, so one, this is y. Rotate on the y, r y 90. So I have this. There is the floor of my table, that's the, the part where you sit down. I'll scale it down a bit. Press Ctrl A and apply the scale. Then I would like to get the back of the chair. <coughs> Shift D, click to accept. R, press X and 90 degrees to make it stand. So take our time to practice the R and Y and X so that you understand the axis and how they actually work in rotation. It's a bit difficult for new users to actually understand that. So get this here and I would like to make it a bit taller. So if you want your chair to be stylish, you can just rotate on the X axis or move your mouse because you don't want to uh, move it too much. So we can just do something like this. All right. So I think I would like to go move my mouse a bit. I press R, X, and then move my mouse to rotate it manually. So this is how you push them, the precision uh, rotation. So we have a seat that is a bit slanting a bit. So we'll have this, and I'll press Shift D again, and bring this down. Now, I want this to become the hand and the leg. Okay, we're gonna use to build the hand and the leg of the, of the chair. So I'll click on my skill, scale this in I would like to scale this up a bit so I want to start from the hand I'm going to bring this up here and bring this to somewhere here scale it on this axis scale it on that axis scale it down like that so shift D and rotate on the Y axis now Y Y Sorry, X axis because X is this axis. So R X 90. So we'll have this. So we want one that will be standing straight like this. So we'll just bring it down here. Remember Ctrl A, apply skill. Ctrl A. Before we do that, let's scale this up a bit. Scale it up a bit. So because it will be going from this part down to where the legs will actually be. Scale it up again. Bring this down here. Yeah, something like this. So, next thing is that we'll make sure that this is actually uh, blending in as much as possible. So, you won't appreciate this until you start using the edit mode so we can model things more accurately. So, I would like to make this one a bit bigger so it's going to correspond properly and look very balanced. So have something like this that's better so select this and shift D again and move to this point you can use this here so now I would like us to make this one to reach the edge do something like this so it's going to be touching this one here so we'll have just something be stylish like that then we would like to bring this down, Shift D, and bring this down to this point. So this particular one, we can allow it to be this way, and it still be stylish and nice. I think we, I can work with this, but if you don't want, you can be able to scale this in so that they maintain the same line. But I think this is actually okay. Looks like a special kind of a foot for it that balances it properly. So I'll select this. To select multiple selection, let me do that again. Click on this, hold down shift, click on this, click on this, click on that. And if you want them to become one, you press Ctrl J, but we'll do that yet. So I'm going to do Ctrl Shift D, accept, and I'm going to scale, I'm going to drag this to this place. Now, if you want to join these things to become one object, okay? Um, we can do that but before we do that i want to do something we have to select this things and apply this bevel modifiers on them now if you don't do that it might affect whatever you're going to do later so i'm going to apply and uh, apply 
let's see if we can be able to select all of them and apply it once you see they won't come out so you have to do that one by one so i'm going to be as fast as possible to do this apply and then we'll have this apply apply So this will actually make it smoother chair, all right? So I have this. So we can use this our tool here now, the selection tool here, and just select everything here like this, and press Control G, Control G, and this will actually make everything to become one tip, one chair. Sorry, I'm gonna drag this into this place. So we we'll have a very simple chair that we can be able to use to work. So scale this out. Nine. We also did something about uh, building a classroom, so I'm just going to quickly build a classroom. But before I do that, let me just duplicate this. Uh, let me duplicate this. Shift D, Shift D, and Shift D again. So we'll have about four chairs that are actually here. So I'll press Shift A and bring in a cube. And for this cube, I'm going to scale this this way, scale this out, scale this up, scale this out a bit. So you can scroll in and see and actually see where it is. If you're not seeing properly and you want to be able to see whatever you're doing, you can enter into this Z mode, this particular thing here. You click there, and when you click there, it will actually enter into the Z mode. I would like to save my work so that I don't lose what I've started doing already. So I will call this my object mode modeling 2. So with this, I can be able to see how big the glass is and how small the chairs are. So I can just pull this one up and use my move to pull this one up a bit. Like that. So, but for you to see the floor, you have to always go back here and drag this up and appreciate, you know, how it's working. So, I would like to go back again and scroll, push this back a bit here. So, I would like this class to be a bit bigger. So, I'm going to push this out. And I will do something interesting. I'm going to do uh, Shift D and scale this down. Sorry again shift D scale this particular one down so this will be like a sort of a demarcation or a pillars there's something I actually call it technically but um, we'll just leave that for the civil engineers so I'm going to just uh, drop this down here now if you see that you are seeing some some lines there I don't like those lines so I'll press E select everything and just drag them out to go above this line so i don't want to be seeing those grid lines so now you can't you can't see all those grid lines anymore so you can just here select this always remember your control a to accept whatever you have done it and the bevel is already on it so you don't have to actually do it again so you can just do this now we're doing this this way because we will just be looking inside it so all these things here you will not be seeing it when we start working with it later so i'm just doing manual shift d and just move it shift d and move it so you can just go in and simply select uh, let's also do that to the table apply this and apply that apply selecting the tables right now the parts of the table select and apply and then select that and apply so you can just select this select 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 and select all right so you can just press ctrl g 
to make them to become one. So with this, I can select this, select this, select this, select this, select this, and press Shift D and drag it out. And Shift D again and drag it out. Okay, let's make sure that they are spaced properly. And Shift D again and drag it out. And uh, we could actually have the teacher stay with Shift D. So this time around, I'm going to just drag this R Z 180 and drag it out. But I'll have to remove uh, the other seats. I'll just leave only one seat here. Our teacher seat. So we'll have this, and that's more like a classroom. And we just built that within a few seconds or a few minutes. All right. So work on this, and um, let me see what we have. I'll see you in the next video.